Hello guys, welcome to Afristyle Yarns. My name is Nema and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make this spiral 16 inch by 16 inch throw pillow. We'll only be making the throw pillow cover. It's a two side cover so we'll work on one side and you'll we'll do a repeat for the same for the back side and join the two pieces together. So let's go straight into the pattern. So today we'll be using this purple thread, this white thread, light shade of pink and white and I have them arranged this way because this is how they will follow each other on the pattern. All these threads are from the brand yarn by Aoko and it's a chunky cake yarn and it's a cotton blend thread. I'll be using that with your size 5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need your pair of scissors and your darning needle just to tuck in the loose ends. To begin off this pattern, we'll start off with a magic ring and I'll, I'll start off with the purple because you want to keep account of where you're starting your pattern. So I'll start off with this one. Wrap the thread around my two fingers like that to create a magic ring. Then I'll take my hook and go into the circle and pull up a loop. Then I'll yarn over and pull through one. And then what how we this, how we start off the pattern is I'll start off by making a single crochet in the magic ring. So I'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's a single crochet. Then I'll make a half double crochet. So I'll yarn over, go into the same loop, pull up a thread, yarn over, pull through three. Then I'll make two double crochets in the same magic ring. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, go into the magic ring, pull through two, and pull through two. Then I'll give my loop some allowance like that. I'll just loop it off. And then I'll move over to my second color, which will be the white. So I'll just take the white thread, just give it a little loop go inside my magic circle and pull up that little loop to the right side and you'll want to hold the tail end of this with your middle finger so it doesn't come off and then I'll just yarn over and pull through this doesn't count as anything I'm just doing that for strength purposes then I'll start the same way I did I'll we'll start off with a single crochet so I'll go into the magic ring Pull up a loop, pull through one, that's a single crochet, then a half double crochet. So I'll yarn over, go back into the magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn through all the three, then two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the magic ring, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the magic ring, pull up a loop, pull through two. And pull through two then I'll pull my thread then we'll move to a third thread so I'll take my pink thread loop it I'll go into my circle pull up my pink thread yarn over pull through this is for strength purposes so it will not count as a stitch so we'll start our single crochet yarn over pull through a thread and pull through two that's a single crochet work your half double crochet so yarn over go into the circle Pull up a thread and pull through three, then two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the circle, pull up a thread, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the circle, pull up a thread, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull up my thread so it doesn't get lost, and then we'll move to our third and our fourth and final thread which is the white again I'll take my final piece of thread loop it over like that go into the circle and pull up your loop into the circle you want to hold your tail end so it doesn't become a distraction then yarn over and pull through again this is for strength purposes it does not count as a stitch so we're going to start our first single crochet so go into the circle Pull up a thread and work your single crochet. Then yarn over, go into the circle, pull up a thread and work your half double crochet. Yarn over, go into the circle and work two 
Dabuko she so Yanova pull through two, Yanova pull through two, Yanova go into the circle, pull up a thread, Yanova pull through two, Yanova pull through two. So this will count as my first row. We'll go back to the first color we were working with, which is our purple, to begin round two. So when you check at the top, we have four V's. So just start from here where you have your loop, the first one, one, two, three, the fourth, and this last one. At the bottom here we're going to go into that space and work two double crochets so into that space work your first double crochet and your second double crochet in the same space then in the next space we're going to work one double crochet and in the third space we're going to work two double crochets Then we're going to move to our, we're going to drop our purple thread and move to our white. And with the white, we're going to be working at the top of the pink. So you want to pull that up and count your four. You don't count that loop one. The one from after the loop counts as one. So one, two, three, four. On this fourth space, we're going to work two double crochets. So yarn over in this fourth space going to yarn over and work two double crochets so that's one and two I'm going to work one double crochet in the next space and in the next space we're going to work two double crochets then you're going to pull up your white thread start working on your third thread which is the pink and then we're going to count our fourth, fourth V. So from the loop of the previous, just count one, two, three, four. In this fourth space, we're going to work two double crochets. Then one double crochet in the next space. And then two double crochets in the next space. So we're just going to work on the three spaces instead of four. For one, put your pink thread aside and work on your final thread, which was the white. So for this one, it is quite evident when you look at it closely, since it, it was a beginner. Our first space is evident right here, so we'll just work on that space. So we'll yarn over in that first space over at the bottom. We're going to work two double crochets. And then on the next one, we're going to work one double crochet. And in the next one, we're going to work two double crochets in the same space. And we are done with row two. I'll first tuck in my loose ends because it's getting in my way. And then we'll continue with round three. So we're beginning row three. And how we begin is we will start off with two double crochets. We'll always be starting with a double crochet and ending with a double crochet for this pattern. So just keep that in mind. So I've worked my first two double crochet. And in the next space, we're going to work one double crochet in the next space one double crochet and in the next space one double crochet so those are three double crochets so those are three double crochets and then in that final in the next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then we move to the white thread again we'll start with two double crochets and end with two double crochets so yarn over in that first space you'll work two double crochets in the next space we're going to work a single one double crochet and two more double crochets And 
now after two we're going to work two double crochets in the same space and we leave out that space out we'll work it in the next row then we'll move over to our pink thread so in that first space we're going to work two double crochets and three double crochets in the next three spaces and two double crochets in that next space Then we'll pull that up and start working in our white thread. What you want to be wary of is your threads will get entangled. So you need to straighten them up just for them not to curl up together. So in our final thread, which is the white, we're going to go again. We'll start off with the two double crochets. One double crochet in the next three spaces. and two double crochets to finish off row three then we're going to move over and start off with our purple again so it is slowly beginning to take shape begin off round four we we'll always start with a double crochet and end with a double crochet so i'll work two double crochets in the same space and in the next five spaces work one double crochet in the next in each of the spaces and then after the fifth double crochet in the next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space to close off with that color again we'll start off with two double crochets in the same space and how we're going to be moving through this pattern is with each row we are going to be moving up to two double crochets so we started off with one in between the shared spaces of double crochets we started off with one moved to three now we are up to five then in that next space we're going to put two double crochets in the same space so in the next space we're going to work two double crochets and in the next five spaces work one double crochet in each and in the next space after the fifth is two double crochets in the same space so start off again with two double crochets in the same space work five double crochets in the next five spaces and after the fifth double crochet we're going to work two double crochets in the same space and your sp spiral is beginning to take shape so what is happening is we are moving up by two double crochets with each row so in this space now we have five in the previous we had three and before that we had one so it went from one to three to five so in the next one in between the shared spaces of double crochet we will have seven and after that we will have nine and after that we will have eleven so depending on how big or how small you want your project just keep going going up going up by two two so we started off with one went to three and then now we have finished our five and in the next row we're going to have seven double crochets in between our shared spaces of two double crochets so you start off with two double crochet in the, in the same space work seven double crochets and finish off with two double crochets in the same space so it's a repeat of the same we'll start off row five and 
we start in the next chain two double crochets in the same space and then in the next seven spaces we're going to chain one double crochet in each of the seven spaces and after the seventh crochet the next space we're going to end with two double crochets in the same space and then we will drop our purple thread and we will move to our next thread which is the white you we'll start with two double crochets in the same space work seven double crochets in each of the next seven spaces and in the next space after the seventh double crochet you're going to work two double crochets in the in the same space then you pull that one out and start on on your pink thread the same same way so just con so you'll do that for the pink and the white and i'll meet you again with our purple thread to begin the next row so we're beginning row six we're beginning with two double crochets in the same space And in the next spaces we're going to work nine double crochets in each of the next spaces after the ninth crochet the next space we're going to finish off again with two double crochets with the color purple two double crochets in the same space thread aside and move to the next color which is your white we start off with two double crochets in the same space work nine double crochets in the next nine spaces after your ninth double crochet in the next space we're going to finish off with two double crochets in the same space then you'll drop your white thread and pick up your pin and start off with your two double crochets in the same space work nine double crochets in the next nine spaces and finish off with two double crochets at the end so you'll do the same with your pink and with your white and i'll meet you again in the next row to start off with our purple so we'll start off row seven with two double crochets in the same space and then work 11 double crochets in the next 11 spaces after your 11th double crochet you in the next space you're going to work two double crochets in the same space then you'll drop your thread and pick up the next thread color so with the white thread again we'll start off with two double crochets in the same space then work 11 double crochets in the next 11 spaces and after the 11th crochet we'll work two double crochets in that same space the next chain space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then we'll drop your white thread and pick up your pink and start off the same way two double crochets in the same space 11 double crochets in the next 11 spaces and finish off with two double crochets in the same space so you'll work the same with your pink and with your white and i'll meet you to start the next row with our purple so we're about to start row eight and as you can see our spiral is beginning to take shape and it looks really really beautiful so we'll just pick up our piece and start on row eight we'll start off with two double crochets in the same space in the next 13 spaces we're going to work one single one double crochet in each of the 13 spaces after your 13th double crochet we're going to work in the next space two double crochets in the same space move over to the white and start all over again two double crochets in the next space 
and 13 double crochets in the next 13 spaces after the 13th double crochet the next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then you'll pull up your white thread pick up on your pink and you start the same same way two double crochets in the next space 13 double crochets in the next 13 spaces and then you'll finish off with two double crochets in the last space so just continue with that and i'll meet you at the end of this row so we can start with our purple thread so for row nine we are going to start off with two double crochets in the same space then work 15 double crochets in the next 15 spaces after your 15th double crochet in the next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space Then you pull up your purple thread, drop it, and pick up on your white thread. So start off with again two double crochets in the same space and work 15 double crochets in the next 15 spaces. After your 15th double crochet, in the next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space. Then you'll drop your white thread and pick your pink and start the same same pattern. So you'll just work the same same way, two double crochets in the next space and 15 double crochets in the next spaces and finish off with two double crochets in the same space. So work with the pink and the white and I'll meet you in the next row. So for this row, again, we will start off with two double crochets in the same space. work 17 double crochets in the next 17 spaces and 17th double crochet then in that next space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then drop this color and pick up your white and start the same same way two double crochets in the same space and 17 double crochets in the next 17 spaces and after the 17th double crochet you're going to work two double crochets in the same space to finish off with the white then you'll drop the white and begin with the pink so continue like that and i'll meet you at the end of the row so for this next row we're going again to start with two double crochets in the next in the same space and in the next 19 spaces, we're going to work 19 double crochets. And 19. And in the next space, we're going to work two double crochets in the same space. Then you'll drop this thread and pick up on your white and start the same way again. So it's two double crochets in the next space. and 19 double crochets across the 19 spaces and after the 19th double crochet you're going to work two double crochets in the next shared space and after that you're going to work with your pink and your white so just continue with the same pattern and i'll meet you as we begin the next row for this next row we we'll work two double crochets in the same space then work 21 double crochets in the next 21 spaces 21 and in the last space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then we drop that color and move on to our white so two double crochets in the same space and 21 double crochets across in the next 21 spaces then after the 21st double crochet we're going to work two double crochet in the next space so you start off with two double crochets in the same space and you end with two double crochets in the same space so continue with the white then you'll move to the pink and then back to the white and then we'll, i'll meet you at the start of the next row to begin off with our purple again so for the next row so we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then work 23 double crochets in the next 23 spaces 
22 then in the 23 then in that last space we're going to work two double crochets in the same space then you pull up on the thread drop it and start on the next one the same same way two double crochets in the next space and then 23 double crochets in the next 23 spaces so 22 23 so that's my 23rd double crochet and then the next space we're going to work two double crochet in the same space then you drop your white thread and pick up on your pink and repeat the same same way so you just do that with the pink and then the white thread and then i'll meet you back at the purple thread for this next row i'm going to start off with two double crochets in the same space then we'll work 25 double crochets in the next 25 spaces and after the 25th double crochet we're going to work your two double crochets in the next space so two double crochets will go into the same space at the end I'll work my 25th double crochet then in that next space I will work two double crochets in the same space then I'll drop this thread and pick up on my white and start the same way I did which is two double crochets in the same space then 25 double crochets in the next 25 spaces I work my 25th double crochet and then in the next space I'll work two double crochets then I'll pull up on the white thread and pick up on the pink then we'll start the same same pattern two double crochets in the same space then 25 double crochets in the next 25 spaces and after that you're going to finish off the pink thread with two double crochets in the same space then you'll move on to your white and I'll meet you at the end so we can start again on our purple. After finishing that row, which is the 14th row, I'll have achieved my desired diameter, which is 15.5 inches. This, you can continue, the beauty about this is you can con you can continue with this pattern as far away as you can to make a either a throw blanket, a baby blanket, so you can continue as far away as you want. I'll finish mine off here. So I'll take my purple thread. In the in the next place, you're going to work two double crochets in the same space. Then in the next place, you're going to work one double crochet. Then we will start reducing. So in the next space, you're going to work half a double crochet. Then in the next space, we're going to work single crochet. And in the next space, we're just going to slip stitch. And then we're going to cut off our thread and pull it off like that. So we finished off that edge and that's how we look. So we're going to put our thread aside and move to our white the same same way we're going to work two double crochets in the next space in the next place we're going to work one double crochet in the next place we're going to work half a double crochet in the next place we're going to work single crochet and in the next place we're going to slip stitch then we're going to snip off our thread and pull that then we're going to tuck in this tail ends then we have that then we move over to our pink two double crochets in the next space and in the space after that work one double crochet in the space after that work half double crochet in the next space work a single crochet and in the next we're going to work a slip stitch then we're going to snip off the thread and pull our thread and we'll just tuck this in on our last white same pattern two double crochets in the same space 
one double crochet in the next space half double crochet in the next space single crochet in the next space and slip stitch in that next space then snip off your thread that's how we look so I'll just tuck in my ends so after you finished off your pattern what you'll notice is you have this arch that is not really a circle and it's not really a perfect square it's not a straight line so what I like I like to mitigate that by creating my own extra row that will mitigate and make this into a perfect straight line so that I can have a perfect square so how I do that is I'll start over with a slip knot and then put my slip knot into my hook then I like starting at this point where we had two double crochets in the same space and two double crochets in the same space in the middle of th that space I'll, I'll consider this my first corner so I'll work two treble crochets to begin in that that corner so i'll yarn over twice go into that space pull through two pull through two and pull through two yarn over again twice go into the same space pull through two pull through two and pull through two so you have your two treble crochets then in the next two spaces i'll work two more treble crochets in each space so that's your third treble crochet and then in the next place we'll work our fourth treble crochets. So what I'll be doing is I'll be reducing the height as we go. So in the next space, in the next four spaces what I'll do is I'll work four double crochets. So one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet and four double crochet. After the fourth I will four half double crochets in the next four spaces so the second half double crochet the third half double crochet the fourth half double crochet after the double crochet we'll move to single crochet so four single crochets one two three four and since now we are almost the midpoint of our of our line we will slip stitch so I'll slip stitch twice and then I'll start again now going up again so with going up again now we will work single crochets so I'll work four single crochets so I've worked my first one my second single my third single crochet and my fourth single crochet after the single crochet I'm going to work four half double crochets so one two half double crochet three half double crochet and the fourth half double crochet after the half double crochet you'll work now your double crochet so in the next four spaces work four double crochets one two three four and then in the next two spaces you're going to work treble crochets so you have your one and your and your second treble crochets and then we are back in the second corner so two double crochets in the same space and two double crochets in the same space that is my second corner so in that space in between I will work two treble crochets then I'll chain two and then begin now working downwards so what I'll end up having is instead of having an arch I'll have this straight line so at the end of the row what I'll have is a perfect square all round so we now move to this part of the pattern and start all over again so I'll start again with two treble crochets in the same space
and with treble crochets the only difference is yarn over twice instead of once like in a double crochet so you just yarn over twice go into the next space pull through two pull through two and pull through two my last treble go into the next space pull through two pull through two and pull through two so you have your four treble crochets then i'll work two four double crochets so that's the first one second double crochet the third double crochet and the fourth double crochet after that i'll work half double crochets so half double crochets one two three and four and then I'll work four single crochets in the next four spaces one two three and four then since we are now at our midpoint we're going to slip stitch in the next two spaces so I'll slip stitch in the first and in the second then we start going up again so four single crochets and then four half double crochets And then after the fourth half double crochet, we'll work four double crochets. And then we'll work our first two treble crochets. One. And your second then you're back into my third corner now so i'll work in that space so you have these two double crochets in the same space and two double crochets in the same space right in the middle that will be my third corner so i'll work two treble crochets in that in that space then i'll chain two and work two more treble crochets in the same space. And then I'll work two more trebles in the next space. So in the next space I'll work your third treble and in the next place you're going to work your fourth treble. And now you know we are working in our third in our third side so what you have is your straight your straight your straight edge vis-a-vis -vis the arch that we have so move on to our third side we've already done our trebles so it's a repeat so you're going to work after the fourth treble just work your four double crochets and then you'll reduce to four half double crochets then to four single crochets then you will slip two at the midpoint make two slip stitches in the next two spaces then start going up again the same same way so just continue the same you'll get to your fourth corner and then you'll work again and i'll meet you at the end back to our first corner so i'm at the end of the row and i've worked my first two treble crochets so i'll yarn over again and in that in our last corner i'm going to work our last two treble crochets right there so yarn over again twice go into that space yarn over pull through two pull through two and pull through two so we've finished off then we're going to chain two then go into that first space of the first treble just go inside that space yarn over and slip stitch and you'll be done with your pattern so i'll just snip this off so once done that i have my now my square spiral pattern my intention was to turn this into a throw pillow so with this done i'm just going to make i'm going to make another piece 
on the side and then I'll just join the two pieces together. So here's our second piece. I'll join the corners together. Like that. Then I'll go over with a row of half double crochets all round to join the two pieces together and after that I'll have a pretty decent throw pillow cover. Since I already used my white thread to go around the border right now I'll go in with my pink and I'll just make a slip knot. Then I'll start with one of the corners. So make sure the that the back and the front are aligned since it's the same pattern. If you use the same pattern, all your stitches will be aligned. So you'll just be going at the top. So I'll start in our chain two spaces and I'll work two half double crochets in that space. So I'll just yarn over, go into that chain two space, pull up a thread, yarn over and pull through three. Yarn over, go into the same space, pull up a thread and pull through three. Then in the next space at the top, just go into the I'll, I'll yarn over, go into the top stitch, matching your stitches, pull up a thread and pull through three. Yarn over, make sure you're matching your back and your front so that you have, so you're picking at the top and from the bottom piece. So you're picking from the, so yarn over, make sure you're picking your front and the same thread, the same, same, same place from the back. So yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, going into the same space at the front and same space at the back. So as to align your pattern so you can have a perfect square and so yarn over go through the front piece back piece and work your half double crochets I'm on my last space before the corner so I'll yarn over go into that last space pull up a chain pull up a thread and pull through three then yarn over in the space I'll work two half double crochets chain two then two more half double crochets in the same space from here it's a repeat all through so continue and I'll meet you at the end you want to work on three sides and then on insert your pillow and then finish off on the fourth side or if you're going to put buttons or a zipper on the other side what you want to do is just work your half double crochets on three sides and leave the fourth side open so you don't close all the sides so if you're not putting any fastener either a zip or button you're going to first work the three sides then put your pillow insert and then close off your close off your pillow with the pillow insert inside and if you're going to put a zip or buttons you're going to just work your half double crochets on three sides and leave your fourth side open for the zip or the buttons I'm on my fourth corner on my third side so I'll work my last half double crochet in that side and then I'll work inside the corner work two half double crochets in the corner and this will be my last side so this side I leave open just to insert the pillow and then what I like to do is I will I'll attach so this being my front side I will work on the back piece I'll work two extra rows of half double crochets on this side so as to tuck this in because I'll place my buttons on this side so as to cover the pillow inside nice and comfortable so instead of cutting out my thread from here and I'm done joining the two pieces together 
what I'll do is I'll just push the front I'll push the front piece backwards and then I'll continue with two more half double crochets this time I'll not I will not chain two because I'm only working on a back piece and I want it to be tight so I'll just work two double crochets in that space then in the next space I'll just work half double crochets and go down the last side but only on the back piece because this is an extra so I'll just work two rows of half double crochet on this back side so I'm on my corner uh, so I have my front and back piece and then new first corner of joining so in this last corner I'll work two half double I'll work two half double crochets and instead of letting this space be loose in this first space in the of the first stitch I'll just go into that space and slip stitch just to join the two pieces together because I don't them hanging apart then I'll chain one and then turn my work then I'll go down again one row of half double crochets so starting from that slip stitch space so I'll just go into that space block my half double crochet go into the next space work your half double crochet and continue like that S down the row I have my last two spaces to go so in this last space I'll work my second last space I'll work a, my half double crochet then in the next one I'll work a single crochet and then in this space final space which is uh, a half double crochet that holds the two the front and the back piece together only on the, I'll go only on the top side then I'll just slip stitch and then I'll cut off my thread and then I'll tuck this in so it is nice clean and neat so it doesn't leave an, a bump at this end just slide smoothly into the pattern and once your edges are tucked in you'll be done with your pattern so this is what I have and this is my opening for inserting my pillow what I have is this back side that I'll just tuck it I'll tuck in and then put my buttons on this edge so that you can tuck in and close up once your pillow is inside so this is the pillow with the insert so this is how it looks like and this is how the top will look like so I'll just tuck this in and put in my little buttons if you've made it to the end of the video and you liked the video do leave us a thumbs up also leave us a comment in the comment section below on what you found interesting and resourceful about the video also do consider subscribing it really it really helps in growing the channel and you can turn on your notification bell so you can be notified on any time we post a new video up. Till next time, bye!